Good afternoon, fellow nomads. It's just Jeremiah here, riding my bike along the beautiful St. Croix River. Over there's Wisconsin, over here's Minnesota, and I am almost to Stillwater to see my mom. It was discouraging hitchhiking. Every time I go somewhere new and it's like an hour or two to get a ride, that's how long it takes. I always sit there like, Minnesotans suck. They're so, they don't even care. And I just sit there and like, the negativity doesn't give me a ride. So I fought it and eventually got a ride from Marcus. Maybe you're watching, if so, thank you so much, Marcus. Uh, he got a new classic car, a muscle car, and it looks awesome. And he's trying to fix it up because the person didn't take good care of it. But he drove, he turned around and got me to Walmart. Everyone hates Walmart, but cheap bicycles. And if you hate Walmart, you're gonna like this. Sorry, it's sleazy, but this bicycle, it's gonna break. I bought two bicycles in the past week at Walmart, and they broke in the first couple of days. So, that can be in your favor. If you're traveling, go to Walmart, buy a bicycle, use it for a week, and then when it breaks, return it. You're basically borrowing a bicycle. I'm not paying for this bike. I'm renting it for Walmart. So, for all those who are like, you always go to Walmart, I stick to Walmart. And I'm sorry, but, it's a broken bike. I'm returning it. Get bikes that don't break, and I'm gonna be stuck with one sometime, but every single time I've got the excuse. Your bike sucks. Your product sucks. Get some guy that knows bikes to put it together. The reason they always break is because that guy in the back that doesn't give two craps. Ooh, here we go. Yes. I brought my mom in that last year. We had a nice dinner and a cruise and it was really fantastic. She loves those old boats. She's a sucker for the old times. Oh my God, I can't wait to see her. She doesn't know I'm coming. I just talked to the home. She's doing really good. She literally said the other day how happy she is to Rachel uh, at the home. And she's getting out every day for her chair. Like my mom didn't do that when I was there. She's getting out to get in her chair. That's such a huge step. So what it means is that when I come here, try to offer my love and energy for her healing sake it's gonna be a cakewalk she's gonna accept every last drop of it and I just can't wait to see her progress I know that just like last time my instinct is gonna be to just stay but it's one of the things in life I have to learn is that you have to be there for yourself to be there for others so as much as I beat myself up for having left just over a year ago, and then being kept from here from COVID for over a year, uh, I've got to take care of myself. If I, can't, if I don't take care of myself, I have nothing for anyone else. Oh my gosh. I hate to say this, I never thought I'd be so excited to be in Stillwater. <laughs> Thank you, hello. Bridge is done. If I could, I hope I can take my mom outside for real. She hasn't been outside like besides doctor visits for over a year. But my goal is to take her on this five mile loop that goes across this bridge. It's the old Stillwater lift bridge. And they just finished it this past year. They're working on it, I'm guessing, for years. But my goal is to take her from the home, take her across that bridge up the hill, and then over that other bridge way over there. It's like a five mile loop, five and a half mile loop. But on Easter two years ago, I pushed her 11 miles and what is this? They're doing cool stuff to Stillwater to accommodate for the uh, lockdown. Cool. Give you a little uh, tour Stillwater, why not? Huh? I'm sure the wind's a pain in the butt, I know. I'm gonna be able to afford a microphone with a wind cover eventually, but for now, have at it. Leo's ice cream shop is legit. They get so much business. The new place next door, Edible Grit, they do not so much.
There's my old job, Lolito. Across the street, check it out. Nice. I'm gonna go to this park, have myself a nice, relaxing session before I go to surprise my mom. And I'm probably gonna ball like a baby with happiness. And I'm totally gonna share it with you. So, if you're ready for things to get a little more serious and touching, uh, just stay through to the end of this video and catch the link to the next one. Oh, I can't wait. Sweet. I used to always take my mom here to eat lunch when we'd picnic together. Oh, and I can't wait to cook for her. You know, I, I, I've worked in the restaurant industry for 20 years and I definitely subscribe to the fact that there's magic with food. There's a magic to food. My mom's a foodie. I'm a foodie. I can't wait to feed her. She eats such garbage. And of course, it's not their fault in the home. They're only given like the state budget and told what to do. I love the people in her home. I'm not in any way trying to say anything negative about them. But uh, yeah, she's like, you are what you eat. She's eating garbage. I cannot wait to make her. I'm going to make her uh, pot shrimp alfredo today. Ooh, I can't wait. On my little camp stove. It's going to be hard. <coughs> it's going to be hard leaving next week. And I know it's going to be scary for her. But I built up so much trust with her. She, it's nice that I can leave. And she knows that I'll be back. And that I'll do anything I can to be here for her. But, yeah. Going to have that session now. I'm going to enjoy it. And then I am going to hug my favorite person in the world. I know I'm going on, but thanks for watching this far and take care.